Shades and Many Shades is gay. Sorry this is coming to you late. I was doing some of my homework for my college classes, unfortunately. I hate college. It's a pointless crap. So if any of you are going to college, I tell you not to. It's just basically high school with more expensive books. Um, but other than that, let me just get straight into the topic. So our topic this week is about the stigma in gay media and advertisement. Um, I'll start off with the advertisement. There really hasn't been that much advertisement on TV about gay media, uh, gay media or anything. Um, the only thing I can actually remember and was like on MTV. I think I think that's the only thing I can actually remember on MTV for the Levi's commercial where um, they actually had the same guy do the commercial for um, like when he's pulling up his pants and like the whole street level comes up um, and there's a woman there standing there like eyeing him but then they did it again but then there was a guy so there's that um, that's like the only commercial I can actually remember and that's on MTV which a lot of people don't have um, on the regular channels like Fox, CBS, ABC, um, CW there's really not that much media for the gay um, it's mostly just like like the advertisements are mostly pertaining for the straight people, um, which is fine for me. I mean, I mean, most of the commercials are about drinking alcohol and or cigarettes or um, buying a stupid coat or jacket or whatever from Macy's or The Gap, which for me The Gap stands for gay ass people. So I I don't know why The Gap doesn't do commercials for gay people. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this. So if I seem lost, I am. Um, um, I normally don't watch TV for the commercials or for the news or anything like that. I just watch TV to keep entertained. Um, and the only actual gay show they have on the, on the main TV, um, like main channels is Modern Family. And to me, the the gay storyline is so subtle and perfect, like it doesn't need to be, like, over explicit, which I think that's why the show is doing real great. Um, so that's like the only, the only current show that I see on TV doing that. So I guess the commercials or the previews for that can be considered advertisement for a gay, gay TV show. Um, now. The advertisement that actually pisses me off, which I think is the most stupidest thing, all the Target ones, any any advertisement for Target, oh, I hate that store, even before they paid money to that Republican or whatever, that asshole to kill gays or whatever, so I, don't even ask me about politics or anything, I don't know, I'm just hearsay, um, let's see, oh, so ever since they paid that, the one everyone found out about that, like the commercial that came on, like the advertisement that came on TV, immediately following all that crap, was this one of this woman who's shopping in Target, and if I find the link, I'll post it down in the bottom bar, but, um, she's shopping in Target, she picks up this hat, and she looks at it, and she says, fifteen it's $15, and then she's like, well, what if I put it on, so she puts on the hat, and boom, all of a sudden, she's walking down this damn orchard field, picking up apples, and there's this guy on the ladder, and she's like, oh, who's that? Is that my future husband? And then, she's, and then, all of a sudden, two kids come by, and lay on a little blanket, oh my god, my children. So, they were, like, putting this whole thing of a perfect family, like a mom, dad, two kids, and then they zoom right back into her in Target, holding the hat. She's gonna go buy the hat. So basically, if you buy a hat from Target, you get the perfect family. The husband, the wife, the two kids, you go picking um, apples in the orchard. <laughs> that ain't real, okay? Because the families I know, half of the kids, the straight family couples, um, they're divorced. The kids are like drug addicts or, um, or like, the kids are like mentally insane. So it's like... It's like, why do you want, why do you want that? And, like, the kids that I know that have two daddies or two moms, 
are living the perfect life. So I don't know what what this whole push is for the straight couple or marriage and all this stuff, whatever. Marriage should be because of the heart. You're marrying two hearts, not two people. Okay? That's what you're doing. Um, and the media on TV, they really don't want to talk about the gays that much because they're afraid that the um, they're going to lose viewers because a lot of the people out there watching the news are stupid old farts with old um, views on society. Like, oh, everything's in the past. They don't want to think of the future. And that's why I think the world is a corrupt place because of that. So, yeah, the media needs to get their ass out of their, or their head out of their ass, um, because I just don't know, it's like, it's like, why whenever something gay happens, you only have to report it because it's bad? Why can't you report, like, um, a success story about a gay author, or a gay filmmaker, gay music person? No, it has to be, oh, um, well, this guy, whatever, um, murdered people, or committed suicide or blah 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 there's more gay things in the in the world that you can actually talk about that doesn't have to be bad so I just in my opinion I think the news doesn't want to lose any viewership so they want to keep their jobs and they want and so they tell stories that they think that the mass America would hear which are stupid crap so it's like it's like be careful the bed bugs are out there um oh yeah make sure you buy plastic coverings for your for your bed but no, they don't want to talk about anything important. So that's why I don't watch the news. That's why I don't keep up with politics. That's why I don't watch um, um, commercials. I or like I fast forward through them. Um, it's just a waste of my time, honestly. And it's it's just it'll just piss me off every time I watch it. So so it's like they could go ahead and keep on advertising to the straight people. Let them go broke. I'm like, us, the gay people, we know what we want to buy. We don't need commercials telling us what to do. Um, and in honesty, I really don't want to see them put a bad light on us. So the less gay commercials there are or the less gay media, the better, in my opinion. I'm like, that's why they have Logo and, um, and like, cable networks like Showtime and HBO and all this stuff. Like, if all the channels were like cable network channels like the actual cable type like HBO Showtime Stars and stuff the world would be a better place because there you don't have to hide anything you get viewers from different different worlds and all this stuff so I don't even know if I made any sense to you guys I really don't I don't even know if what I'm talking about <coughs> is what we're supposed to talk about but that's my take on it I hope it helped anybody if it didn't I'm sorry and I hope you liked this apple. I think this is what you wanted us to talk about. Um, and like I said, I'm not, I'm not that well versed in media or advertisement or anything against the gay um, culture. So I hope to learn from you guys when you do your videos. Um, but yeah, so. I agree with what JJ said. Of course, I have to agree with him. He is my man. Um, I could still disagree with him. But, um, and I read Apple's stuff, and I, too, agree with him. I had to slow down a little bit. It went real fast. <laughs> so, but, um, I paused, read, played, paused, read. But I do agree with both of you guys. Um, and to my other many shades of gay, I hope you're doing well, um, and hope to see you in next week's videos. Um... That's it. Sorry if this is long and full of blabble, whatever, I don't know. But as my shirt says, rub my belly for good luck. So everybody rub my belly. Go. I'm crazy. Anyway, um, I will leave, a, I can't find the link, but there's this actual commercial that they played um, in Argentina where... It was a nice commercial. You didn't even know it was about, it was about um, the LGBTQ community. Um, I could actually, I'll find the actual um, link for it and I'll put it down in the in below. It's in Spanish, but I I don't know how to translate it well. 
So, but that's basically what it is. It's for equality in marriage in Argentina, which actually did pass. Um, so in Argentina, you actually, it's actually legal for you to get married if you're a homosexual and for you to adopt if you're a homosexual. So that's why I'm happy I have an Argentinian partner. And one of these days, I hope to move to Argentina and become a resident of Argentina and have my future baby. So, yeah, so why can't the world just be like that? It took a, a, a I don't even know if it's a third world, but it took a, a South American country to actually be the first one to just pass the law and put all the nonsense behind behind us and let gays marry. We're all equal. So, I guess that's a good media commercial. There, I finally have something. <laughs> so, I'll leave the link for that below. It's on Tumblr, so... I will talk to you guys next week. I'm sorry about the nonsense.